And tonight's Hollywood Wrap, the pro dancer who sees a champion in his Dancing with the Stars partner. Plus, thoughts from week eight, including a few aches and pains. Here's George Pinocchio. All right, thanks very much. Ten competitive dances, five remaining teams, one perfect score. The 10-10-10 during tonight's quarterfinals was the first 30 of the season. All five teams danced to a different era with one of their numbers, and the 1970s inspired samba from Maya and her partner Dimitri Chaplin scored triple tens. And that's after being just one point shy of perfection for their ballroom quick step. There's a lot of pressure for all of us to be on our A game, constantly, nonstop, no missteps, because Carrie Ann, by the way, she's noticing a lot of flaws, and we are going to get docked for that. Perfect tense is not easy. It has to be flawless. Joanna Krupa and Derek Huff had a quick step misstep, but then came back with triple nines for their futuristic pasta doble, ending the evening in a distant second place. But seriously, honestly, as I have a true champion, seeing somebody who comes out in the same night Falls apart in a dance, let's be honest, falls apart, it doesn't go quite well, it's like scary. And then to come around and sink or swim, and she chose to swim. One point behind them with a total of 51, Kelly Osborne and Louis Van Amstel, who did the foxtrot, followed by a 60s-inspired jive. Kelly's loving every minute and pushing any pain aside. I have a neck spasm, a sprained ankle, a dislocated toe. My shoulders crunch when I move them. But you know what? It means that I have worked so hard for it, and it is so fun. And just one point under them, tied for fourth, Aaron Carter and Karina Smirnoff. I feel like I've given everything I could, and um, if we go home tomorrow, um, you've changed my life. Donny Osmond and Kim Johnson are also tied for fourth with their judges' scores. <laughs> we worked really hard on these dances. Oh, probably the hardest we've, we've worked thus far. I tell you what, I don't know, if they didn't like our costumes, I think they're fabulous. Yes, I would give us uh, tens just for the costumes. Yeah, I know. That was for their 80s-inspired Paso Doble, by the way. One more couple goes home tomorrow night, but not until performances by Michael Buble and Susan Boyle coming to town. Wow. Okay, okay. that'll be interesting. George, thanks.